In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an invisible join. So normally when you finish a round, you would slip stitch to this stitch and chain one and fasten all for however you would do it. But instead, we're going to do an invisible join. So what you would do is on your last stitch, you're going to cut your working yarn and then go ahead and pull right up and out of that stitch, which does seem weird and you think you're going to mess it up, but you're not. Just pull up and out of that stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and take that piece of yarn and put it on a needle here. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip this stitch, the first stitch. And instead of slip stitching to that, I'm going to go into the next one and insert my needle right into that stitch. So coming over here, and then I'm going to come back toward me. And in the top of the stitch we came out of, I'm going to go back into it as well as that back stitch there. That back loop, I'm going to go into that. So into the top of the stitch and into the loop behind it, pull my needle through and pull tight. And what we've done essentially is we've replaced the top of this stitch with a new one that we just made. So you would never know that there was a join there because we just faked a stitch. And then you can go ahead and weave in your end here. Tie everything off. And no one would be the wiser that there is a fake stitch at the top there because we did an invisible join. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and you can use it on your products to make really smooth edges.